Hey everybody, Soybean Farmer. I'm uh, doing a little tractor maintenance here today. Something I found out about some years ago. A uh, friend, a little older than me, always sharing his knowledge with me about things. He warned me about this. He said every so many years, <clears throat> you need to get a little grease right in here. And he also said, now don't get smart and put a grease fitting on this. Because just as sure as you do, you'll end up blowing this seal out. Well, that's an axle seal. And you don't want to even think about the job of replacing that axle seal. So, what he told me was to get what's called a grease needle. And take the plug out, stick the needle down in here, and put a few shots of grease in it. Well, if you back away from this, you can see how easy this job can become to forget. Watch this on this side. See how all that dirt just kind of covered the thing up and makes it so you just kind of forget it? <laughs> well, the side we were looking at I've already cleaned off. Now i got to clean this one off. Clean them off real good because you do not want any of that dirt getting down in there. The possibility of cutting that uh, that seal. The seal is right here, right in there. Uh, serious job to replace that seal. You don't want to have to do that. All right, let me get this cleaned up. Okay, let's see if we can get this out of here after going through the fun of finding the right Allen wrench. Well, that's going to be interesting. It goes in right there, but I can't get that on there. So, now go one turn and go right there. I want to make sure it's in. Wow. Everything gets more difficult when you put a camera on it. Alright, let's see what happens. It turned. Well, that was marvelous. Yeah, I haven't done these in a couple of years. Okay. Jackpot. Figure a few more turns I'll be able to turn the Allen wrench around. But you get the idea. Hey, a mosquito came to the show. He won't be in the movie anymore. Alright, that's loose now. Yep, yeah, there we go. Alright. And yeah, that's out. Absolutely, positively the best grease gun I have ever owned. Jay, thank you very much for giving me this and all the other components of the Lock and Lube product line that you sent me. Thank you. Okay, here's the beauty of the Lock and Lube. Um, you can see the jaws on it. That's a grease needle right there in this hand. Grease needle. Looks like that. Now when I take the lock and lube and do this, the spring is very strong in this lock and lube. That's on there. It's not going to fall off. I ain't got to worry about holding it on there. I got hands free. So now we can go <clears throat> and put grease in there. Okay, <clears throat> what I'm going to do here is just stick this grease needle over in here like this <coughs> let it find the bearing there and then start pumping in some grease I'm not worried about creating an overpressure situation because <coughs> you'll see in a minute what happens and there it is and that's all I want to put in there Well, let's see. 
No, oh, yep, that's it. She's plenty of grease now. It actually took about five pumps with my grease gun to get the grease to rise up like that. That's a plenty. You do not want to get pressure in here. So if you've got grease fittings on this axle bearing, uh, <laughs> don't blow your seal out. Well, there's another one to do. I'll knock it out. But I think you get the idea. Everybody, soybean farmer doing a little maintenance on his 4020. Thanks a bunch for watching and supporting the channel. God bless each and every one of you. Bye, y'all.